Hey everybody, YouTube, I'm in World 7. So, we got super hot Mind Delete Control, if I remember correctly the name. I, I, I've been typing it on the computer as I'm creating these videos today, and I'm confused. And by videos, I mean if you're interested in other versions of the game on Xbox, like Series S versus the One S or the Series X versus the Series S, little bubbles on top as I keep talking, but today we're going to talk the Series X versus the Xbox One X version of Super Hot Mind Control Delete. And let me tell you, this is almost an uneventful game, but nonetheless interesting to check it out. And I do believe the software, just because how the nature of the game is, we might be looking at a little bit of bugs on the frame graph, but frame graph towards the end, let's talk loading times. So without further ado, Oh, before I go, let me know which games you would like me to test in the comment section below. But let's see, what about Super Hot? Uh, which version of Super Hot is the hottest on which console? So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the game is installed in the internal drive of the respective console and we're looking at about 10 to 12 seconds on the Series X and about half a minute, 30 to 33 on the Xbox One X. And of course, that's due to the limitations of the HDD. Uh, but guys and gals, look, here's the thing. This game is an uneventful one. And real quick, before I move on, you can get this game as of the recording of this video through the Xbox Game Pass. If you like to earn your own, uh, instead of waiting for the 3000 subscriber mark and then 500 subscribers after that, I'll be giving away one free month. You want to earn it on your own pace with your own points. You can go to the Microsoft Rewards program uh, and then sign up there with a little bubble on top. I'll have a video guide on how to do that and then you can earn it yourself. But guys, this game, the main difference is going to be resolution. Graphically, I can't tell any effects, I didn't tell anything extra, it's a pretty basic game that runs even on an Oculus Quest, you know what I'm saying? So it's not bad, it runs at 60 and uh, that's pretty much it, resolution. I do believe out of my naked eye, from what I was able to tell, I think it is running at 4K on the Series S and the Xbox One X and the Series X and in the One S it's 1080p because it doesn't look too blurry. Uh, but anyway, guys, I appreciate your support. If you can give a subscribe, a like, and a bell along the way, I do this kind of video. You can let me know in the comment section below which, like I said at the beginning, which video game you would like me to test. Uh, but yeah, this game's running at 60. With it does say some drops on the tier uh, on my on my software, but the thing is, I don't think. Uh, it is actually happening. I think it's just the nature of the slowdown. But anyway, if you guys like to create uh, content creation or pursue streaming and need help with marketing or omni-channel communication between your social media networks or how to use software, you can go to streamingliveacademy.com and sign up for a free content creation PDF or visit me on Twitch uh, any day of the week. I'm streaming randomly. You can come ask me questions and I'll answer them for you. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. All I have for you on this game, I honestly believe is just my capture software is bugging out in some circumstances and is dropping frames on the one x i can see a 55 drop here and there but honestly it's because they're slow down and then moving and drops to 50 55 on a game like this that's not competitive it doesn't really matter at the end of the day uh, but that's the those for today i appreciate your support and i'll talk to you guys on the next video peace or on my articles on streaming live academy